Uh, my barrister. Yes, sir. I can't afford to lose this land. Mm. I want us to win this case as usual. Okay, sir. All necessary arrangements have been made to take up the case tomorrow. But, but, Uncle, you know, I expected you to start arranging for your living in this world anytime. Not by keep on fighting for different lands every day. Wait. Arranging to live this life this early? Are you planning for me to die in time soon? No. What I'm saying is, I don't like the way you are scattering your properties everywhere in, in this country. I just don't like it. As if this world is a, is a forever place. That's what I'm saying. I don't understand you. Okay, this land that you want to go to the court for tomorrow like this, what are you going to make use of it to do? To build on it, of course. To build again. By the time you build on this land, it will be the 25th state you have built in this country. Eh? And you are not living in any of them. Yes, that is because I don't like lodging in any state that I visit. Is that a crime? Then give them out. Then give, me, give them out to the needy and stop fighting for more. You don't need it. So I should not buy land or build anymore. That's not what I'm saying. The one you have built is enough for you and your next generation. So if you have nothing to do with your money, why don't you look up to all these old mothers and fathers who have been living in hot house for years to gain the reward or probably build mosques or churches for people so that you can earn the reward so that your hereafter will be very beautiful for you. Now I know you don't love me. Is there any property that is enough in this world? But those you build are not under renting to generate income. And none of your relatives is even living in it. So what are you now fighting for more for? I'm just saying this for the sake of God. I don't have any, I don't have to waste any space in my heart to have a threat for you. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Then you leave me with my wealth. Alright? See, you have gotten what you need in this world, Uncle. Use the remaining money to create your heaven. Use the money to create your heaven. Use it because when you die, the only thing that you are going to benefit from are what you use your money, the good, good deeds you use your money for. Use your remaining money to build your heaven, to create your, your heaven. The earlier you begin to use your wealth to decorate your grave, the better for you because when you are no longer alive, the best things that will benefit you in your grave are what you use your money to create good, good things for people before you live here. And remember, the best style of building is for everybody is the grave. So use your money to decorate your grave squarely. I have spoken. If you like, take it. If you don't like it, leave it. Um, wow. The end of my own argument. My barrister. Yes, sir. I want you to withdraw the case. I'm no longer interested in the case anymore. Okay, sir. Yeah, I'm contented with whatever I have now. Okay, sir. I'm also touched by his word as well. That's fine. I'm contented with whatever I have on it now. Okay, sir. Thank you. Uh, Let's show love, let's show care, let's come together, make the world a better plane. This is the only way that we can make it together. Choose a better way to live your lives. Choose a better way to live our lives.